Good morning. I just have something really quickly I wanted to share with you about teaching our daughters to guard their hearts. There's a lot of ways we could go with this. There's a million ways um, that we can talk about guarding our hearts. One thing I want us to realize is that it is our responsibility. It is not something that's going to be done for us. We are commanded to guard our hearts. And in doing so, we can be spared a lot of pain. And it is something I didn't learn early enough, I think. And so I really wanted to teach my daughter. This is Michaela. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Michaela is seven and a half, and she's in second grade. And um, just wanted to share something that came up between the two of us that I have been trying to teach her at a really early age and give you an example of how we can share that with our daughters. I will say that when we first found out Michaela was a girl, first thing I did was cry. Not because I didn't want a girl. I really wanted a girl. So precious. Um, we thought it was a boy, but it wasn't. <laughs> but the reason hey. was because... <laughs> I was so glad. But the reason was because I went through some really hard times when I was young and got made fun of a lot. I had a lot of pain that I was still carrying from that time. And I did not feel healed enough to help her with what she was inevitably going to encounter. Most of us as moms, we know what can be like. It can be tough and girls can be mean. <laughs> and um, you have to really be proactive. So I sat down and I made a list while I was while I was pregnant with her of the things I wanted my daughter to know. And maybe I'll do a series sometime going through one or two of those at a time. But one of those is about guarding her heart. And so we had a situation recently, um, we're not going to mention any names, but one thing that Sissy went through at school, <laughs> anyway, we call her Sissy, but one thing she went through at school was, at, in second grade, actually started in first grade, one girl who was a great friend would get upset, so she would tell another one of her friends to go tell Michaela that she was mad at her, and they would come up to her on the playground and say, we need to speak with you, and pull her over to the, and, yes, and pull her over to the side, and then tell her all the things she was doing wrong, and that so-and-so was mad at her, and, and as a mom, as someone who had been hurt in the past, ooh, that mama bear stuff comes up, ooh, I was so mad, you know, but I knew this was a great learning opportunity for her, and it was time for her at this early age to learn how to handle these situations and these type of personalities and this type of pain before it went too far and give her tools that she could use to apply the rest of her life. So, yes, the injustice of encountering this kind of stuff at an early age is wrong and terrible, but use that as an opportunity to teach them when things aren't crazy serious how to deal with this stuff and give them the tools that they can use so that when they get into the later years, their arsenal is full and they know how. So, Sissy, um, can you tell them, what did Mommy tell you when you told me those girls were coming up and calling you off to the side and everything? What did I tell you? Um, Speak up real loud. I am playing I do not need to be pulled aside for any reason. Mm -hmm. I told her that it was okay not to listen, that she could guard her heart, that she could say, no thanks, I'm playing, not right now. She didn't have to go just because they told her they needed to talk with her. And she, she did that, and it stopped, didn't it? She just, next time they said that, she said, no thanks, I'm playing right now, and went on about her business. She wasn't rude, but she had a responsibility and she had a right to say no. So I told her, you don't have to listen. So tell your girls, they don't have to listen. We all know Eleanor Roosevelt made that famous quote, no one can make you feel inferior without your permission. And that used to bother me because I used to think, I never told anybody they could make me feel inferior, but I do. And the more I thought about that, the more I realized the truth in this and guarding your heart and I don't have to listen. I don't have to let them speak into my life. I know who I am, and that's what I'm trying to impart onto her. And it's helped a lot. And then one of our number one verses is Proverbs 4.23. Sissy, can you read that loudly for us? Read it real loud. Uh-huh. Yes. Guard your heart above all else, for you determine the course of your life. For it determines the course of your life. That's right. Guard your heart above all else. <laughs> For it determines the course of your life. Um, another version says, for out of it flows the wellspring of life. That's your heart. Guard your heart. That's our job. Guard your heart. Tell your girls, guard your heart. Protect your heart. Give them what they need to do battle against 
anything that is going to hurt their heart. Let them know they don't have to lay it out there for others. They don't have to listen. And, uh, yeah, you did great. And one time there was another situation where I was on the phone with someone who I knew well, but frequently they would just be rude to me. And I didn't know why. And I remember hanging up the phone and I said, God, why is she always so rude to me? And immediately God said, she's not rude to you. She's just rude. And I was like, wow, it's not my problem. It wasn't me. It was something they had to deal with. And there was a lot of freedom in that. So I also challenge you and your daughters to stop and realize that if someone does something rude to you, don't take it too personal. It's not your fault. They're not being rude to you. They're just rude. And that's something that they and the Lord need to deal with. And make it a matter of prayer and pray for them and lift them up. And the more you pray for somebody, the more your heart becomes turned towards love with them because you see them through the mind of Christ. And one last thing we want to share is what to see. One Girl Nation CD. So this group is called One Girl Nation. And this particular CD, let me show it real well, has a song on it called Guard Your Heart. And if you have young girls, or even you yourself, <laughs> get the One Girl Nation CD. Listen to these girls.